there's a meat problem in that we all love, well not we all, what we mostly all love to eat meat. However, we also recognize that it is a huge drain on our resources, particularly uh, with the uh, land, water, and feed, which also itself requires land and water. This could add up to an astronomical amount for different kinds of meats, particularly cows. So the problem has a few different people trying to solve it, one of which is Memphis meats, which is a way, it's basically lab grown meat, where it would be making meat from self producing animal cells in a lab, which would be able to create the meat without creating the problems related to meat. Also in the meat industry, which has been remarked for having uh, various questionable practices and also practices that hurt the local environments around them. So Memphis Meats has recently gotten a $17 million investment from the likes including Richard Branson and Bill Gates, two of the more fun and famous billionaires that are out there who have uh, previously attempted to help solve problems with their money and also make more money with that money. On his part of it, Richard Branson said, I believe that in 30 years or so, we will no longer need to kill any animals and that all meat will either be clean or plant-based, taste the same and also be much healthier from everyone. Memphis Meats has raised a total of 22 million, uh, which signals a commitment to the quote, clean meat movement which uh, other companies are working on as well, including Tyson, which is one of the largest chicken suppliers in the United States. Uh, they've also invested in companies to sustainably feed the world's population and have uh, also announced a stake in Beyond Meat, which also counts Bill Gates among its supporters. So we see a clear move here toward lab grown meat or meat that is, I suppose, cleaner in a way, and it might get there someday, it might not. Audience, do you think there will be a day where Richard Branson's dream comes true or prediction comes true that no meat will be produced in the traditional ways that we have today? Please let us know below and please like and subscribe for more.